Speaking of generational wealth, did you know even the Rockefellers are in on this? Oh yeah, for real. The Rockefellers have been using spendthrift trusts for decades. Hello and thank you for listening. Welcome to The Afterburn, where Jake Carter and I break down the latest episodes of the Ignition Path podcast. I'm Ava Morgan, and every week we dive into the conversations between host Kyle Goodnight and his incredible guests. And we're here to give you a thoughtful review. No fluff, no bias, just our honest take on the topics discussed. That's right, Ava, pulling out the nuggets of wisdom and sometimes debating the finer points. We've got plenty to discuss, so let's dive into it everyone and welcome back ready for a deep dive into a topic that's usually well kind of hush hush we're talking spendthrift trusts those powerful tools that can help safeguard your assets and maybe even give your tax burden a haircut and to help us navigate this we're taking cues from an entrepreneur who's been there done that sally Giman. it's really interesting how sally went from facing like a very common entrepreneurial headache those surprise capital gains taxes to mastering a strategy you usually only hear about from, you know, the ultra wealthy. Yeah. And it's a story so many entrepreneurs know all too well. Sally was flipping properties like a pro, right? She sold seven, count them, seven bank owned properties in just one year. But then wham, her tax bill was through the roof. She went from paying, get this, $50,000 in taxes to a jaw dropping $78,000. And it wasn't just about moving up a tax bracket. It was like a wake up call that she needed a whole new game plan for managing her wealth. Totally. And that's where spendthrift trusts enter the picture. Instead of freaking out, Sally took action. For five months, she dove headfirst into studying these trusts, determined to figure out how they ticked and if they could be her saving grace. And what she discovered was pretty eye-opening. Spendthrift trusts. They're not your run-of-the-mill living trusts. Nope. These bad boys offer a whole other level of asset protection and tax advantages, which explains why they've been a closely guarded secret among the super rich for, well, ages. Speaking of generational wealth, did you know even the Rockefellers are in on this? Oh yeah, for real. The Rockefellers have been using spendthrift trusts for decades, managing wealth across, get this, seven generations. We're talking almost 400 family members, all under one EIN. That's mind-blowing. So after soaking up all this knowledge, Sally decided to take the plunge herself and set up her own spendthrift trust back in 2019. And let's just say the results. They speak for themselves. In just three and a half years, she was able to shrink her tax burden significantly, saving a serious chunk of change. But even more importantly, she realized that this knowledge, it was like a superpower she could share with other entrepreneurs. Absolutely. And sure, she did. Sally didn't keep this under wraps. She became like the trust guru in her real estate circles, teaching everyone about spendthrift trusts and eventually building a whole business around spreading this knowledge beyond just real estate. Her mission became crystal clear to make this information accessible to everyone, not just those with those trust fund names we all know. Okay, so we've established that spendthrift trusts are like this elite financial strategy whispered about in like mahogany lined rooms for years. But let's break it down. What makes them so powerful? What are the actual benefits? Think of a spendthrift trust as like a fortress for your assets. It's not just about dodging taxes, although that's a major perk mm -hmm. for sure. It's about shielding your wealth from, well, threats. Threats like, say, lawsuits. You got it. Imagine you're slapped with a lawsuit, right? But your assets, they're tucked away safely inside a spendthrift trust. Legally speaking, they're often not considered your personal assets. So creditors trying to come after your hard-earned money, good luck to them. It's like having this, like, financial force field. I'm hooked. Tell me more. Okay, get this. Sally told us about a client of hers in Chicago who owned over a hundred, yes, a hundred rental properties. One day he's in the car accident and bam, he gets hit with this massive lawsuit. We're talking half a million dollars. Whoa, that's terrifying. It is, right? But here's the kicker. Because all his assets were held in a trust, the lawsuit was basically thrown out as frivolous. It just goes to show how valuable that extra layer of protection can be. That's amazing. So spendthrift trusts can help shield your assets from lawsuits. Got it. But what about taxes? How do they actually work their magic there? Let's talk taxes. And remember, we're not just talking about hopping between those seven tax brackets. It's got to be more strategic than that. Way more. Spendthrift trusts give you the power to shift your income and assets strategically, potentially leading to some serious tax optimization. 
This is especially huge for entrepreneurs and independent contractors because, let's face it, their tax landscape can be a bit of a maze. And speaking of entrepreneurs and those independent contractors, Sally had this client, right, who was absolutely killing it in the digital marketing world. Oh, yeah. This guy was raking it in $100,000 in just the first five months of 2024. Get out. No way. Yeah. And get this. By using a spendthrift trust, he managed to save a cool $33,000 in taxes for the rest of the year. See, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of strategy, that's what can really move the needle for business owners. But it's not all about dodging lawsuits and outsmarting the tax man, right? Spendthrift trusts also give you this level of privacy that's like gold these days. You're not going to find it just anywhere. You hit the nail on the head. Think about it. When you set up an LLC or an S-Corp, Boom, that information is out there for the world to see public record. But with a spendthrift trust, you've got that extra layer of discretion. It's like your assets get to go incognito. Exactly. And that privacy, it's priceless in this day and age where everyone and their mother can dig up information online. Couldn't agree more. Now, there's another perk we haven't even touched on yet. The whole Corporate Transparency Act thing. Ah, yes. The Corporate Transparency Act. Definitely a hot topic in the entrepreneurial world. For sure. People are still trying to wrap their heads around it. Like, what does it all mean? And it's no wonder. LLCs are now on the hook for disclosing more about who owns them, which, let's be real, can be a real pain for some business owners. Okay, so how do spendthrift trusts play into all of this? Well, because spendthrift trusts, they operate outside the whole Corporate Transparency Act shebang. They can actually help you keep things more private you can dodge those extra filing requirements. So when you say operate outside the scope, you mean like you wouldn't have to publicly share as much about who owns your trust compared to, say, an LLC? Exactly. And for those who really value their privacy, who want to keep a low profile, well, that's a pretty big deal. It sounds like spendthrift trusts are like the ultimate trifecta of benefits, asset protection, tax advantages, and privacy, even a shield from some of those, you know, ever-changing regulations. They really are. And while they might seem like something only the super rich get to enjoy, Sally's mission, remember, is to change all that. I love that about her story. It reminds us that success, it's not always a straight line, you know? Sometimes it's about embracing those detours, turning those curveballs life throws at you into, like, opportunities. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Remember Sally's lemonade stand story? Oh, are you kidding? How could I forget? The one where she's five years old selling lemonade to the Pittsburgh Steelers? Classic. Yeah, that's the one. It perfectly captures her entrepreneurial spirit, even way back then. And it reminds us that sometimes those little seeds of our greatest successes, they're planted way back in those early experiences. So true. It's like, you know, when life gives you lemons. But Sally, she didn't just make lemonade. She built like a whole lemonade empire, right? And then turned around and said, hey, here's the blueprint. You can do it too. Inspiring stuff. Totally. It really drives home the importance of, you know, staying curious, being open to learning new things, and then actually taking action. Right. Putting it all into practice. 100%. Now, I'm thinking some of our listeners might be wondering, okay, the spendthrift trust thing, that's great. But is it right for me? Is this for everyone? I was going to say, that's the million-dollar question. And it's important to remember, there's no magic formula, no one-size-fits-all, right? Mm -hmm. Sally's big thing is that these trusts are especially powerful for entrepreneurs, independent contractors, anyone with, you know, significant assets they want to protect. It's about building that fortress we were talking about, that financial security. Right. Being proactive, thinking ahead, minimizing those risks. Sounds like anyone who's serious about, you know, leveling up their financial game should at least explore it, see what it's all about. Exactly. And if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, like, where do I even start? Trust me, I get it. That's where Sally's whole mission of making this information accessible comes in. Her website is a gold mine. Tons of resources to guide you. Awesome. We'll definitely link that up in the show notes for everyone. So as we wrap up this deep dive, here's a thought to chew on. Imagine, just for a second, what could you achieve if you had that extra layer of financial peace of mind? What dreams could you chase down if you could, you know, minimize that tax burden, protect your hard-earned assets? Powerful questions, right? Makes you think. Sometimes those big breakthroughs, they come from questioning the status quo, exploring those, like, what-if possibilities. Couldn't agree more. So to everyone listening, keep learning, keep growing, and don't be afraid to explore those alternative paths, like spendthrift trusts that might just be the key to unlocking your full financial potential. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We'll be back next week with another fascinating topic. Until then, stay curious. 
All right, that's it for today's review on the Afterburn. Thanks for joining us as we broke down another awesome episode of the Ignition Path podcast. If you haven't listened to it yet, make sure to check it out. Kyle always brings something new to the table, and we're here to make sure you don't miss a beat. For sure. And don't forget, each week, we're here to give you the straight talk on these episodes, pulling out what really matters for your entrepreneurial journey. See you next time, and keep igniting your path to success.